Howdy folks, Huey here, and welcome back to Stein's Gate. It's this which be awesome, or we are just... Well, we're reeling on the fact that, uh, you know, shit's gonna go bad soon. Uh, it went bad the first time, and now we're rehashing the same scene, and Okabe's just like, No, this has happened before, please stop! And it can't, because he didn't say it out loud, so no one... He hasn't told anyone, and, uh... Yeah, things are gonna go bad again. Um, now that there are eight loud mems, Miyushi thinks it's getting a little cramped in here. Oh! Oh, that line is such good foreshadowing. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't be so cramped if ha 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 gone. First, we don't have enough chairs. We should buy more. Do you have money, Ocarine? I shake my head wordlessly. For some reason, I'm afraid to look Mayuri in the face. I guess you can use some of my salary. You know, for chairs. You need a new microwave too, otherwise I can't warm up and any juicy chicken number one. He, yeah, he's not feeling too good. Ocarine, are you okay? You don't look so good. It's... nothing. Yeah, this is the part where he should have said something, but now it will repeat because he is not making strides to change things. Are you feeling sick? Then you need to rest. Want to lie down? You can lie on my lap, okay? I'm not... Uh oh. Before I can finish, the television interrupts me with an urgent news bulletin. The subtitles read, Terrorist bomb threat suspends Yananote, Sobu, and Kehin, uh, Kehin at Tohaku, Tohaku lines. A bomb threat? Oh, hang on, those lines all pass through Akiba. How is Mayushi going to get home? Oh yeah, I should call home. No, it can't be. B. It's the same. Every last thing the same. Okabe Rintaro, I need to know. It was a dream. You've completed the time leap machine, right? It had to be a dream. Uh, bring Mayuri with you. But if it was a dream, then why? Are you listening? Ah, uh, the time leap machine's done. Okay. I just remembered I got something to do. I'm going at. And Suzuya leaves aloud without another word. What's wrong with her? Does she know what's about to happen? I think it's fairly clear she does. Also the fact that you yourself saw that she left specifically to turn on the TV. Nothing's going to happen. The break-in was a dream. Oh boy, you you must you must not do these things to yourself and also to us watching you. But no matter how hard I try to convince myself of that, I can't shake the icy hard clutch the icy hand clutching at my at my heart. I can't breathe. Even though it's hot and humid, my body shivers. I remember this feeling too from the dream. <sighs> Did they choose wrong? Was I granted a second chance only to let it go to waste? Um, I don't know if you were granted a second chance. You sort of... But yeah, it's going to waste. A soft feeling against my fingers. I look down to see Mayuri's hand holding mine. When I look up, I see worry written in her face. I reflexively look towards the door. If the dream wasn't a dream, then... Any second now... The same thing happens. It happened exactly as I remembered. Five men burst into the lab. Their movements are swift and sure, professional, and each of them is carrying a gun. They spread out just inside the door and aim their weapons at us. I recognize each of them. There's no denying it now. I did leap through time. It was the future I remembered. I was supposed to change the present to stop the madness about to unfold, but I didn't. <laughs> but I told myself that it was a dream and wasted my chance to save everyone. Look it up. Hands in the air, nobody move. Silence. Time seems to grind to a halt. The men say nothing. I 
didn't I do anything to change this? Wasn't that why I leapt through time? The sound of heels echoes down the hallway. A woman is coming up the stairs. Kiryu Moaka. The woman who killed, who will kill Mayuri. The dream was real. Those were memories of the future. This is happening because I did nothing to stop it. Well, hang on, hang on. I know it's an interesting moment, but take a look at Akabe's uh, right hand. Left side for us, right side for him. His fingers are, like, broken. What's going on there? Like, maybe his one finger is forward, but what about his other finger going backwards? Like, that's... That's, that's a very broken finger right there. Uh, well, I guess, Sam... Time machine. We are taking I the time machine. If I kill her first, will Mary live? I consider the option, but soon give up. The real danger is the man behind her. <sighs> Three of them have assault rifles. I'll gun us down the instant I try anything. My only hope is for Suzuya to make her move before Mayuri is shot. Is there even a chance? I have to stall. My case, Karasu, Okabe Rintaro, Hashida Ituru. The three of you will come with us. You can't resist. Come with us. Uh, where? Hmm. I have no words. At least tell us where we're going. You cannot refuse. You aren't, but you can't. There is nowhere to run. We have men stationed throughout Akihabara. I don't want to hurt anyone. The three of you come with us. What, why just the three of us? I'm not answering your questions. Come with us, it's your only choice. Malaka san You're a lab man too, aren't you? In reply, she pulls out a gun. Michael pulls a gun from her belt and points it at us. It's happening again. Our mission is to silence you. Your refusal to come will change nothing. Come with us now. If you continue to resist, I'll have to resort to extreme measures. Maka slowly raises her gun. She points a muzzle at... Mayuri. But also, I step in the way, so as that way I get shot, and her valuable science man is gone now. Mayuri lives. Sheena Mayuri is not needed. Try to shout stop, but my voice catches in my throat. Nothing comes out but a pitiful wheeze. I turn to Kirisu for help. Kirisu is staring at Mayuri. She looks as if she might start crying at any second. I turn to Daru. He's shaking. His lips move as if to speak, but nothing comes out. Someone. Anyone. Please. Stop her. Stop Moeka. I want to. <laughs> For CERN, for FB, for CERN, for FB. Facebook. Her lips close tightly. A sharp dry crack splits the air. Time slows to a crawl. Maka pulled the trigger. Right in the head. Again. Let's burst from Mary's forehead. Splashes across my face, wet and warm. Her delicate, frail body falls towards me. I catch her. Her body is limp, like a puppet with no strings. Her head and arms dangle lifelessly. Ugh, excuse me. The smell of gunpowder fills my nose. And then, the smell of blood. <coughs> Derek clutches his head and falls to his knees. Screaming at the top of his lungs. In my arms, 
Uh, Mayuri takes one long, ragged breath, and then... She's dead. Mayuri's dead. Again! Her face is covered in blood. Her blood stains my hands. It's warm. You three, come with us. Now. No more warnings. Resist, and we will kill you, too. I hear a voice. But I can't comprehend what it's saying. It's the same. I knew it would be. I let Mayuri die again, because I didn't believe my own memories of the future. I lay Mayuri down on the floor. I'm sorry, Mayuri. I'm so sorry. I stand up. Rage takes hold of me once again. I'm helpless to resist. I take one menacing step towards Moeka. Hokabe! Jirisu grabs my hand before I can take another. Mwaka's gun is aimed at my head. Her finger is already on the trigger. If you resist... Please, Okabe, do what she says, okay? Otherwise, they'll kill you too. I grip my teeth and suppress my anger. Just then, something small and round strikes Morka's gun hand. <laughs> ah! <laughs> she drops her gun. At her feet lies a small stone. Get down! <laughs> the next event transpires exactly as I remember. Suzuya appears in the doorway, knocking down the first man before anyone can react. She then proceeds to dispatch the remaining men with a series of swift, precise maneuvers. Who the hell? The dark-skinned man, the last one standing, takes aim at Suzuya with his assault rifle. But before he can fire, Suzuya snatches a stunned attacker's gun and shoots him. Blood spurts from the man's head, hand. Without stopping, Suzuya delivers a soaring roundhouse kick to the man's jaw. Enough. Yeah. Why can Suzuya point their guns at each other? Standoff. Neither moves. Silence returns to the room. Who are you? 42. She glances at me. TV. This time I already know what she means. Stand on. I make a break for the development room. Don't move! It's my line! Kirisu is right behind me. I grab the headgear and jam it on my head without a moment's hesitation. Okabe, I... I'm going back. But what if it fails? Get the machine started. There's no time to argue. I hold... I grab Mode Snake from the shelf. Kirisu bites her lip and starts setting up the, the X68000. Okabe, and Taro, one of them said you away. Kill them! Don't let them use it! Before the, uh, the crew cut man enters the development room, I push the switch. White smoke instantly fills the room, rendering it impossible to see. I shot out of this, really? Do it, Gerizu! Activate the machine! I see blue-white light shining through the smoke. The discharge is starting. The light rapidly grows brighter. The floor begins to shake. The singularity is open. I crouch down, holding the headset steady with one hand. This is reality. It wasn't a dream. I burn that fact into my mind as I repair it to timely. One more chance. The shaking begins. <laughs> Please give me one more chance. Oh God. Okay, let's uh, let's listen to that one back. Appreciate that one. 
Once more, the world explodes into light. I didn't get shot this time. Only three hours? I can't hear. It feels like something is crushing my eardrums. Ah! Slowly, the shattered pieces of the world reform. My body convulses as if struck by lightning. I am Okabe Rintaro. I'm in the lab development room, standing in front of the time leap machine with my phone to my ear. Ah! My brain hurts again. This isn't like a headache. It's somehow deeper. With the pain comes a torrent of emotion. Sorrow, longing, hope, joy. That threatens to wash away my sight. However, only one thing matters. It worked again. I quickly return to the lounge. You surprised me. I almost crashed into Karasu. Don't stall to me like that. Daryl, is it just before 5 on the 13th? Uh, um, yeah? Alright, time leap successful. I pat Kirisu on the shoulders as almost as in an embrace. You're a genius. What's got it into you? Stop manhandling me, it's gross. I scramble for my phone. Go all the way to the bottom. May is she here? Mary, work. But I can't answer the phone right now. It went to voicemail. Please leave your message after the beep. Mary, contact me at once, okay? At once. Also, don't come to the party. You will die. I hang up. I look at my watch again. It's just past five. Thank God for the timely machine. It makes me shiver to imagine what would have happened without it. I have three hours until Mo uh, Moeka kills me or... Everything's going to be okay. There's plenty of time to escape. First, I'll meet up with Mayuri and leave Akiba. We can go to, uh, Ikubukuro. Wait, what if they're watching her house? Maybe we should hop the bullet train and get out of Tokyo entirely. Anyway, we're fine as long as Moeka doesn't find her today. So first, I need to find Mayuri. Oh, Kabe? You look kinda crazy, what's wrong? Harisu and Dara look at me with concern. Both of you, get out of here now! Uh, what's this about? I checked my wallet. I only have 9,000 yen and some change. That's, uh, that's a fair amount. I need to stop by an ATM and withdraw everything I have. This is another one of your fantasies. Kirisu shrugs her shoulders, dumbfounded. I don't have time to answer her. I kind of do. I slip beside her and dash out of the lab. Okabe, where are you going? Hey! I run full speed to Yanabayashi Shrine. Naturally, I have to stop for breath before I get more than a few blocks. The sun is setting, but the temperature still hasn't dropped below 30. Ooh, that's a lot. Sweat quickly covers my entire body. I'm not good at exercise in the first place. I finally stake her through the archway. Now I regret not borrowing Suzuya's bicycle. But no, there isn't time for that. Finding Mayuri comes first. I run to the courtyard where I find Lukiko standing alone with her bamboo broom. Lukiko! Lukiko! Ah, Okabe sat. She bows her head. What's, uh, wrong? <laughs> Mayuri, where's Mayuri? Uh, Mayuri Chan left, early left. She left? Uh, yes. Um, when you see her, could you tell her that I'm sorry? I'd prefer not to cosplay. I don't want to disappoint her, but it's too embarrassing to dress like that in front of people. Finally caught my breath. I don't have time to listen to Lukiko's apologies. Miri went back to the lab? Eh, um, I think so. Doesn't make sense. I know she comes to the lab around 6.30. It's still 5.30. No matter how slowly you walk, you shouldn't take more than 20 minutes to get to the lab. 
So what was she doing for the extra 40 minutes? We don't have time for this. She didn't say she was, she was dropping by somewhere? Uh, no, I didn't ask. Um, is something wrong? Mira comes back here. Tell her to come call me right away. Uh, okay. Better check the lab. I also better get something to drink. My throat is killing me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, of course, am Kiwi. You can be ready to tune yourself. Have a delightful day. Goodbye.